So this is a tutorial to summarize how you can produce two different types of quite simple uh, lip sync using After Effects and Photoshop. They're not uh, the most detailed way of doing lip sync, um, so it's not going to be kind of Disney quality animation. But if you do need to put together a quite quick animation using lip sync, this is one of the ways um, you can do it. What I have is a uh, a layered Photoshop file with all of my different mouse shapes in. Um, you can choose whichever different uh, phonemes you want. There's various different. Um, there's a sort of standard set that people often use. Uh, but generally, I've just got a mm, a sh sound, an R, ah, an O, an O, oh, an E, a V, and F and a L sound and these are the basic ones that you could use but you can use a lot more than this uh, but these are just what I'm using for this demonstration and each of these is on its own separate layer uh, and each layer is named so that when it brings comes into After Effects I can see the layer name so I'm just going to create a composition in After Effects I'm going to make it uh, 25 frames per second and I'll just make it 10 uh, I'll make it 5 seconds long um, uh, actually 10, we'll go over 10 and I'm just going to bring in that PSD file I'm going to make it so it's a composition and I'm going to just leave editable layer styles on and in here in my folder I have all of the named layers so I can see exactly what they are I'm going to drag and drop these onto the timeline and you can see all the layers laid over the top of each other. Now one approach you could take for instance is, and this is a very long winded way about it, the problem that you have is if you want to have an R sound say next to an E sound, so it goes R and then let's just turn the rest of these off, and then E, and then say you want a L sound after that L, L, and then you go back to the R sound. What you'd have to do if you don't set up a, a proper system is you'd have to duplicate that layer every time you needed an R sound. The other way you could do it, of course, is you could take that R sound and you could edit the opacity on it and put in keys here. So I could key the opacity so it goes to zero and then in the frame before that I could put in a zero or a hundred or, or put in a step key um, in order to be able to turn this uh, on and off. I take that one there to go from that R sort of sound that you've got there. But that would mean I've got hundreds and hundreds of keys just on this one line. And it also means that I'd have to do this for all the other layers as well. So that could just get really, really complicated very quickly, especially if I need to come and edit in somewhere and make some changes. I've got to edit lots and lots of layers and shift lots and lots of, uh, of keys around. So a way of doing this and solving this problem is I can take all of these um, phonemes, uh, phoneme layers here. I'm going to go to layer and put them in a pre-composition. So they live in their own composition. I'm going to make this one second long. Um, I could make it say eight frames long because there's eight layers in. But I'll show you why I'm going to leave it as one second in a, just there, just in a moment. I'm just going to reduce them down to about that long so I can fit them into this second here, and I'm going to move them along like this. So I'm going to space them out along this one second of footage. It's not all the way along, but it's pretty close. So I've got all my phonemes in there and it sort of disappears at the end. So I'm going to put them into to the one second slot there. Um, so as I run through this footage, I've got all the different face uh, mouse shapes in there. And I'm going to go back to my composition and you can see now they run through that section of footage there. So what I want to do is I want to create um, a system, a slider that enables me to just key one slider um, and 
be able to to apply different mouse shapes at different times and just have one thing that I'm just keying all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a null object which is going to be the thing that I want to key. It's not, it doesn't get rendered and it's just handy for putting different controls on. And I'm going to apply an expression control called the slider control. I'm just going to double click on that. And in there we'll have the slider control and also when I go to my timeline you can see in effects that have appeared there's a slider control. And I can just rename this to uh, face uh, let's call it mouse shapes. And I'll just call this I'm just going to call this um, face control. So now if I take my pre-comp and just rename that to shapes. If I take my pre-comp and I apply a time remap to it by holding down Control alt and then T, I'll get a time remap. And if I hold down Alt again and click on the stopwatch, it'll show the expressions. So what I can do now is I can use the pick whip that's next to the expression and I can drag it to the slider here which creates a link between the mouse shape slider and the pick whip and the and the expression. So I'll just drag that over to the slider. What that effectively does is when I move this slider backwards and forwards up here it'll run through now this time remap. But as you'll notice if I do that it disappears very quickly. The reason why I've made this pre-composition a second um, and there's a couple of different ways of doing this to be honest just working out the maths is just probably going to be easier for you but this is just to demonstrate how the maths works in the first place if I go to the face control if I type in 1 you'll see that the face disappears the reason for that is our slider goes from 0 to 100 now it's a random value or it doesn't really have it doesn't really know what it's applying to and in this case because it's applying to a time remap it's thinking that this is 0 to 100 seconds but my time remap is only a second long so as soon as I move that slider 1 everything it runs through the entire composition the way to get around this is to go into the expression and go divide by 100 why did it just disappear? divide by 100 and you'll see that now when I move the slider most of the way up it can get pretty much to well 92 because we didn't quite reach a, a full second and now the slider covers that entire composition of all the different face uh, mouth shapes. Um, the other way to do this is you could make the shapes or the mouth shapes composition with each frame uh, or each layer occupying a frame um, and then just do the maths and you just have to work out the maths of how to divide the expression um, by the number of frames that you've got in there. The reason why I made it a second long is just to demonstrate that the time slider has a value that goes from 1 to 100 and when you connect it to the time remap it then makes the time slider move from 1 or 0 to 100 seconds so it means if your time your original comp is say a second long you'll immediately flip through the entire thing within by just moving the slider along one uh, a value of one and that's why you have to divide by a hundred which is just what I've done in this instance so now what it means is I've got this slider and it means if I want to just change the face shapes I just need to key it and I can just drag the slider and every time I drag the slider it automatically creates a key and it means I can just move it along one just drag the slider and each time a key is created so you can see there that I can just create all my different expressions and uh, uh, different mouse shapes there it's not brilliantly animated I must admit but it gives you a basic idea of how you can make a load of different expressions um, a different mouse shapes using this slider system. The other way of doing this is to auto attach the automatically attach the volume to an object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a blank face that doesn't have a mouth 
and I'm going to just drag this into the scene here and this is my this my non mouth character I'm then going to create a I'm just going to deselect everything and I'm just going to create a very basic mouth in here which is his mouth there and again I'm going to create a precom from this so I'm going to just rename that and call it vector mouth because I've just created a shape basically using the pen tool in order to create this so I've got vector mouth I'll just rename that and spell it correctly <laughs> now if I go to layer and pre-compose I'm just going to call this vector mouth comp and I have my mouth in there and what I'm going to do is a very similar system in fact I'm going to go control K and I'm going to make this one second long as I did before and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to animate the path so I'm going to close the mouth on the first frame just using these bezier curves in here and on the last frame I'm going to open it right up so now it opens and closes like that from 0 to 1 second I'm going to go back into my composition, my main composition and you'll see there's my pre-comp and if I just run it see the mouth just opens. What I can do is if I bring in, bring in a piece of audio which is my testing audio and, and it's very I'm just gonna break it, it's just me I was quite tired when I recorded this so if I play it it'll just say testing 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 one two three testing testing so that's my audio in there and what I can do is I can convert this audio so that it goes from the usual waveform which you can see here and creates keys that I can then link this mouse shape to in the same way as I linked my mouse shapes to my face control slider so if I right click on this and I go to keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes you'll see that a new layer is created called audio amplitude and in here if I click on this button and unroll everything and just go to effects you'll see I've got a left channel a right channel and both channels and in here I've got it's created a slider for me and it's created the keys all along here because it's keyed everything and if I turn on the graph editor you can see hopefully if I was to select the slider you can see that it's created keys and values um, in the time slider and you can see that that matched or matches the waveform from my audio levels if I turn that back off again you can see this is my waveform in here and then if I turn the graph editor on and go back to the slider you can see that waveform has been converted into keys here so what I can then do is go back to my vector mouth comp again pressing control alt and T I can create a time remap hold down alt click on the stopwatch and then I can just use the pick whip to drag to the slider there now if I click anywhere else you can see that now that mouth opens and closes with the volume so if I just do round preview testing testing one two three testing testing now we have the same problems we had before because the slider is going to slide from zero to a hundred so again I need to divide this um, in the vector mouth comp I need to go into my audio amplitude and just try out a couple of things I'm going to divide by a hundred and see if that makes a difference and what should happen is in that instance the mouth isn't moving very much at all so it's a case of trial and error if I just go into here again and I'll try and divide by say 25 you can see pretty much 
that opens and closes and doesn't disappear which is what I don't want so try that again testing testing one two three testing testing so in that by just trying that out and I think 25 is a magic number because um, the vector is one second long which is 25 frames and the slider probably goes from 0 to 100 and that's probably the way it's worked out with this particular one but sometimes it's just a case of trial and error um, but there, there it is, those are the two ways that I've got of, of just producing quick phonemes um, and uh, uh, mouse shapes in After Effects which you can do pretty quickly if you just need to, to put something together that's not the highest budget animation in the world and you just need to put something um, that has uh, some level of lip sync um, just to just to give it you know some some extra detail uh, which can be very very handy and hopefully you can do it pretty quickly just using this system